We've got some more Stadia news this week to go over as a third community blog post has just been made, this time focusing on the Ubisoft games getting updated and coming to Stadia real soon. So let's not hesitate and dive right into it, beginning with the biggest expansion for Assassin's Creed Valhalla so far, and that's Dawn of Ragnarok. It's described as the most ambitious expansion in franchise history. Eivor must embrace their destiny as Odin, the Norse god of battle and wisdom, unleashing new divine powers as you embark on a desperate quest through a breathtaking world. You'll be wielding the powers of a god while journeying deep into Norse mythology as you fight new enemies of ice and fire and experience Odin's personal saga. Dawn of Ragnarok is available right now on Stadia, and players who own Valhalla can purchase this DLC for $39.99, or if you don't own either, you can buy the Assassin's Creed Valhalla Ragnarok Edition or the Valhalla Complete Edition. And if that's still not enough Assassin's Creed Valhalla for you, you can look forward to the Valhalla Discovery Tour Viking Age that will be coming to Stadia real soon. This will allow players to roam freely through Norway, England, and the mythical realms such as Asgard in a map free of conflict or gameplay constraints and relive history through stories with eight major quests. These discovery tours typically are more information based and more to teach you about what living in that age was like. Honestly, it's a really neat experience and I would suggest checking it out, even more so if you've purchased Assassin's Creed Valhalla because the discovery tour will be free included for those who do. But now let's move from one major Ubisoft franchise to another, and that's talking about Rainbow Six Siege. Starting next week, the first season of Year 7 in Rainbow Six Siege will be Demon Veil, and it adds a new operator named Azami to the game's roster. Her kunai-shaped Kiba barriers are ready to provide cover from enemy fire in the heat of battle. As somebody who plays Siege myself, I want to say that these kunais actually have a ton of potential to change the meta around. I think she's going to become a very staple pick when it comes to defending, and I gotta admit, I think it's the most interesting gadget they've added to the game in quite a while. Along with the zombie in the new season, it will also introduce a team deathmatch mode where players can pick almost any operator to fight with, an attacker repick feature which allows players to change their attacker during the prep phase to better adapt to scouting intel. All in all, it would be a good time to check out Siege next week with all this new content dropping. Now the last bit of Ubisoft focused news revolves around a new title that will be launching on March 17th, and that's Trivial Pursuit. You'll be able to experience the thrill of competing on a TV trivia game show at home or on the go featuring different question formats to challenge players from beginner to expert. You'll even be able to take on players from around the world in online play. It features customization to your gameplay, you can choose your favorite categories, questions, and answer formats, and you can get the whole family on board with kid-friendly questions so everyone can play. There's unique catch-up rounds and exclusive question formats only available to the game. All of this to deliver a true Trivial Pursuit experience that's tailored to you. And that wraps up all the Stadia news from the blog post, but I don't want to wrap up the video just yet because I do want to talk just a bit about how Stadia has been reacting this week. We've gotten a total of three blog posts within a week. That's pretty much unheard of when it comes to Stadia. And frankly speaking, there's a chance we may even see one tomorrow as the week's not over. But regardless of whether or not we do, I have to admit that I'm actually really happy to see Stadia on a roll with this. And look, this may not be news that appeals to everyone, and if that's you, no problem, I get it. First off, most of these games I've either played or just don't really have interest in picking up. But as a Stadia fan and a fan of the technology that powers it, even I can admit that the Stadia team is doing a much better job this week. They're having a constant line of communication with the consumer about news that matters to consumers. Now I'm not trying to say that the technical stuff isn't exciting or fun to hear because as somebody who covers this on YouTube, I do enjoy talking about it along with many others. But at the end of the day, Stadia is a video game platform and the average user just wants to know about games that they can play real soon. And for those who've been following the channel ever since it was Generation Stadia, know that I like to speak from the average gamer's perspective rather than a tech enthusiast, even though I do consider myself both. Personally speaking, I'm really hoping that Stadia continues this line of communication and keeps updating its customers with what to expect in the coming months. Don't rely on those bi-weekly blog posts to keep everyone up to date, instead use them to catch people up, and keep dropping news throughout the week. I think it's genuinely a much more effective and positive way to keep the community discussing what's coming up next rather than just hoping to see a big drop on a bi-weekly post. Now obviously, this sort of thing wouldn't be possible every single week as it's entirely dependent on how much news they have to share on hand, but at the end of the day, if they can do it while they can, I genuinely think the community discussion 
around Stadia would be much better off. Either way, let me know what you think about this. I'd actually be very interested in hearing your opinions down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.